today we are going to make a game in under 30 minutes. The timer has already started. Yep. Uh, fortunately, we've already decided that we are going to make a game that is inspired by, or possibly dedicated to, um, mm -hmm. one of our comedy heroes, Weird Al Yankman. So... Uh, so we're, we're going to brainstorm a bunch of uh, game titles, and then we're going to work through that, decide our favorite, and then develop that into a game before your eyes. Yeah. But here we go. The timer has already started. Jumping into titles. Okay. Accordion to Al. Oh. White and nerdy. Mmm. Mm mmm. Curly hair don't care. Keep it long. It's about as fair. Mm-hmm. Albatross. <laughs> the curse. <laughs> Devo said that Dare to Be Stupid was like the best Devo song ever made. That's amazing. So much. Hawaiian shirt getaway. Mm. Oh, the wheel of fish. Yeah. Also UHF. I'd rather sit in a bathtub of razor blades than sell it. What was that yeah, song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then spin. One more minute with you. Oh, Al, you can eat. Oh, nice. Weird Al, Weird Al's, Weird Al's record label. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna put it up on the board and see. These are Al's favorite things. I mean, just a UHF thing game. Accordion to Al's is great. Um, I feel like <laughs> I actually feel like. Weird Al's record label. There's a lot. There's a done. lot there as a theme, and maybe we can use something as a title to make a better title. For like, that. like, yeah. like, is it Wheel of Fish? Weird Al's record. Label. Oh. So like, Wheel of Fish sounds like a cool record. Right. Label. Also, King of Suede. King of Suede is good. Sounds like. I. I I'm but gonna. I'm good. gonna this also. Is, this yeah, is good. Like with that being kind of the theme of the game. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, horny for music. Alley. Horny for music. They're, that's a regular like, title. Uh, uh, that's funny. Horny. It might be a little. No, it's too much. Makes one. Because yeah. he's so, he's so uh, wholesome. He's a great guy. Great guy. He's a great guy. Uh, I love it though. So maybe, so I've got an underlying one that could be uh, no, titles for it. Sure. Accordion to Al. Accordion to Al could also, mm -hmm. if he's the, the exec. Uh, a few of Al's favorite things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that one too. These are a few of Al's favorite things. Running with scissors and fire hose batteries. Running, running with scissors is pretty cool. And same with Al You Can Eat. Al You Can Eat is fun. Mm -hmm. That feels, I mean, between like Eat It and a lot of the, oh, Al You Can Eat It. Do. Ali can eat it. But yeah, he kind of changes. Uh, but play he, does, he does enough of like food, so much, he does so much food stuff that Ali you can eat. Yeah. Oh, it's all making food related. Food challenges. Okay, I'm gonna see the second our time. All right, we have 19 minutes and 50 seconds left. So I think we're gonna need to make a decision quickly here. All right, we're both feeling this, but different type. Weird Al's record label oh, is yeah. kind of the premise. Yep. Um, could, also could be bigger than that. Could be Weird Al's Empire. Mmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then is it like Al You Can Eat, or King of Suede, or Accordion to Al, or oh, Al, you can Wheel eat. of Fish? You see, you're thinking King of Suede? I mean, it's a deep cut as far as that song, people actually knowing that song, uh -huh. but I don't know if that matters for this, right? If it's like King of Suede, Weird Al's, the Weird Al Empire, the Weird Al Empire game, mm. the Weird Al's... Building Weird Al's Empire? Well, are we helping him to build it? The next question. Or, are, or is he, does he already have the Empire and we're... He's greenlighting whatever ideas we bring. It's like, yeah, right, yes. There's also something that's like kind of, this is a fun play attic thing, toy mm -hmm. attic thing, if you actually had a wheel of fish where he was judging your idea, or, or you had to like, yep. use the wheel of fish to, for certain, to determine, to determine which area you're in. So it could be, okay, yep, 
Mm. Like, a, like, a, like a business oh. venture, right? So you, you don't know what you're pitching yet. The wheel of fish spins and it could be like uh, carp adventures, which is like outdoor stuff. And it could be like tuna, right? you know? Yeah, you, yeah, okay. Okay, let's do it. Wheel so fish. wheel of fish, okay. the Weird Al Empire game. So the, the premise is then, everybody knows, <laughs> at least they will, that Weird Al uh, is a global tour de force, right? And an uh, epic businessman. Yep. But he makes all of his decisions based on the Wheel of Fish. Mmm. Uh, Wheel of Fish, the Weird Al Empire game. Does he make his decisions based on that, or does this, uh, yeah. it, this informs what, uh, what the next, what his next endeavor is? Okay. Um, um, we could have more than one wheel. Uh huh. I, but I like, I like, I like the idea of just picking like the venture that you have to then pitch. Like, so you have a time limit. Yeah. It feels like it should be. It feels like it should be. It should be making up a song about. Like making up um, oh, it's all songs. I, it it, it kind of should be, right? How many people can do? Right. Does that does that minimize? Well, well, if if there's yeah. Hmm. Like you, you, I Barry and I can write songs. <laughs> oh, wait, we write songs. I mean, we'd be great at this game, but we want to make a game for more than two people. Uh, <laughs> so three, counting Weird Al. That's true. We got and and we got very talented friends. Who, Right, songs. But. So, so it's not just music. Like, what else could it be? Uh, well, let's talk about Weird Al. He's he's into food. It seems he writes about food a lot. He writes about food. Look, he, la 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 lasagna. Oh yeah. Uh, he does. Uh, um, U, the UHF. So he had a, a TV station. TV station. So we could say that could be one of one piece of the Weird Al pie here. Right? Right, is like coming up with a TV show or something. Is, I mean, is there a way, because what we're talking about right now is a direction that's very open-ended play, right? So we're banking on the creativity um, of, of whoever's playing. Is there a way where we can provide things that make it easier? You know, whether it's um, pieces, cards, something that you you have a few cards that now you're creating something with those cards. Uh, like, would be an example of that. Like, so if you if you had to come up with a business and you could draw from one from each pile, mm -hmm. there's like three stacks of cards and one is like, maybe the amount of money you have to start. Mm. Um, the, it's still a subjective game, whoever is mm -hmm. playing Al that round, maybe? Oh, uh, you take turns playing Al. Uh, right. Oh, it'll be great to have, like, the curly wig. So again, accordion to Al, mm -hmm. you know, you would say this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the piles would be, could be, like, your, the, the seed funds that you have. Mm -hmm. Um... So, maybe, a, maybe someone to go into business with, I don't know, like, that, that kind of feels weird. Uh, so what would, what would, what would Weird Al... What do we think that he would want to be seeing? So of course he's like steeped in creativity. Yep. Um, what is like? Is this kind of his version of The Apprentice kind of thing? And like, are we spending Al's millions? <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, is there a dare to be stupid aspect to it, right? Uh -huh. And then in that, and then are there also dares involved too? If mm -hmm. that if that comes into play, mm -hmm. just taking it to another end of the spectrum. What would be really fun. I, li I like your idea of like of like three decks of cards, where maybe one of them is a stupid deck. No, oh, it's like, the dare like, to be like, stupid. Like, like these are like the bad ideas mm. or dares. But like I don't know. I feel like that is a game on a game. If, it, mm. if it's a dare, you have to do right. But right. it's something that's like. Antithetical to the good business, <laughs> right? Like a like a bull in a china shop. Like you have to incorporate that into your game plan, your business plan. Mm -hmm. But we're still talking about that in the same idea of like pitching a business. Of, of they're all yeah, now. they're all businesses. Yeah. What? How do we make that a little bit um, simpler? Um, 
but still really lending itself to Right, because if every round you're coming up with a new business idea, that, that could be a lot. Mm -hmm. um, right. We've done this before where we post games where people come up with business ideas all at once. And but that's like one, yeah. Right. But they get eight minutes to create that business and then everybody pitches it. So if, it's, what, so if you're building a business, mm. then each round could be progressing onto the same idea. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe you should huh. start with your area of business. On the Wheel of Fish. On the Wheel of Fish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you add cards, which are collaborators. So that's part business. You, you pick you get a business partner. Business partners. Oh, right. funny. Oh, these are the different rounds. So this is like round one. Yes, it's round like, one is your business partner. Right, like uh, uh, Weird Al approved business partners. And these are just like whacked out crazies. You know, Yoda might be one from the, from the, from the uh, who else? Stanley Spadowski. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The, yeah, there's a lot of characters from, certainly from UHF. Yeah. But maybe also probably a lot of made up characters as well. So this is- That each have uh, some sort of a specialty. I'm not convinced that this is necessarily the area of expertise, that that could be your first deck also. Does that mm. make sense? Well, if, if, like, we, if we did it like this, then everybody is at least working in the same category. Oh, so this just determines what, okay. Okay. What yeah, category yeah. everyone is, is creating in, and then it's like a round by round business building game. Right, so you're kind of with a TV Where you're trying show. to please Weird Al. They're coming up with a a restaurant, restaurant, transportation, a live experience, experience. a movie. Is that too close to TV show? They're pretty different. Um, an app. Hmm. Appetizer. Mm -hmm. uh, a song? That, no, that's not like a business. But how would we, would there be something? Maybe, yeah, maybe not. Maybe we just we, keep we sawing out of it. Healthcare. Healthcare. That sounds fun. It will be by the time you're done <laughs> playing. Wheel of Fish, the Weird Al Empire. Alright, we got one left, people. What's it gonna be? Nachos! No, it's, um... Business, the business of business. The business of business. The business of business. Hilarious. Oh, it could be retail too, like a retail item. But the business of business, whatever. Business of business. Perfect. I would say, I don't know, people. Transportation. <laughs> uh, and then there would also be a fish. Oh, it could be science. Science would be one of them too. Oh, uh, yeah. Purple perfectness. There will, so there will be an image of a fish yeah. on each one of these, right? That really has no bearing on anything outside of. Careful. Careful. That. Look at that. Okay. Huh? Okay. Ooh, piranha. Uh, so, round one, you got your business partner. So, okay, so it's going to. Oh no, it's healthcare. <laughs> okay, so it's. So we flicked it, it's on healthcare. Yep. So now we each deal, and everyone plays solo. Everybody so uh, right. You're trying to uh, you're trying to please Weird Al yeah. with your with your ideas. So everyone gets their business partner. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it could be some folks from either songs or UHF, or it's all just new weird made up characters. Fun drawings of like, and, and like they have personality traits as well, right? And so I think the mm -hmm. overall goal is to take the idea that you have. Add your business partner, money... Is or, it business yeah. partner or is it spokesperson? Oh, I like that. So it could be like a talking dog or uh, maybe it's both, right? They're both your business partner and spokesperson. Okay. <laughs> no, I like that. Uh, but, then, but ultimately the goal is to take the things that you draw, right? Mm -hmm. the, the card, the hand that you're dealt, mm -hmm. and come up with a, a, a bang up business for it. Yep. That we would be Weird Al approved. Yep. Each round, the, the Al changes. Uh-huh. Right, as a judge. Yep. 
Yeah. So that would be according to Al, according to Al, in round one, let's say, mm -hmm. you're coming for the business, you draw, you got, okay, I drew the card of so-and-so who I decided is the spokesperson of my new healthcare plan, which involves, mm -hmm. and, oh, and I'm looking for X amount of dollars, or... Oh, you know what, is it? My Shark Tank? Does it, I mean, are, are we building that same business each time so that you, you pull one from each of these things and then you give the pitch for that business and then you, and then you start over, right? So then you flip this again and so now you've got TV show and then you pull, here's a new biz, biz partner spokesperson, um, like, well I guess let's figure out what these guys could be. Yeah. But, right, so it's more, it's a little more rapid fire like yeah. you have 60 seconds to and, and this is the, create your pitch. And this is just like inspiring me to say, buy my biz. Right, right. So it's like, yeah, so you, you don't, yeah, it's very time crucible, like, okay, we only yeah. have, have 60 seconds to put together the business idea. Yeah. Based on the three cards you're dealt. And there's like 200 of each card. So right? I, I think, I, so many. I think money has to be involved as far as like, is it a little amount of money? Is it, uh, you're looking for, you only need ten dollars because the, the one thing about that is that it feels like that should be the same for everybody in that round. So everybody oh. only has a hundred dollar budget. Okay. Right. Well, because is that what is that how much you're looking Spin, to get? Draw one. Or that's how much you are. Um, I feel like that's the money you're dealt to create your pitch. Okay, what about marketing? Maybe marketing? That's, that might be a little too outside the general scope of, right? Like, because well, you, you can run a television ad, you can do. Oh, that's your marketing budget. Like what your, are you oh, that's fun. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So everybody has that same amount. So that that's the one thing that roots it a little bit in reality. Uh -huh. Right? You know, if you have $100 to spend, you're going to get one person off Craigslist to do something. If you have. Fifty thousand dollars to spend. You You're gonna get ads. Five hundred people to do something off the ground. Five hundred crazy less people. <laughs> yep. Time check. Five and a half minutes. Easy. Okay. Okay. Easy. So everybody has the same marketing budget. Okay. So ignore this. Sorry. This is, That's okay. It's, um, it, looks, it looks like it did more work. <laughs> right. So everyone gets their own, a unique business partner spokesperson. Right. Which is great because these, these, this could be like a celebrity endorsement thing. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get them to talk about it using this marketing budget. And there's manufacturing, there What's is. What's that last piece? Um, if it, you, you might have to build a building for your thing. Is it, is it, is it, uh, is it an item? Is, are they like random items you have to appropriate into your pitch? You know? Um, or is it your target audience? Could be, could be. Mm -hmm. Oh, just a random item, or yeah. a dare to be stupid. Oh, right, and dare, and it's the dare to be stupid deck where it's all just stupid, ridiculous stuff that you have to incorporate. So, like, so like, like a fish hat, like, like the hat with a fish going through. Yeah, you're like, I have no so idea okay, so this this partner spokesperson, uh, I've got um, Darth Vader. Right? <laughs> I mean, we probably couldn't use license hey, things like hey. that, but let's say, right? So I've got Darth Vader. Do you know how much money we all has? We can buy Darth Vader. We can buy Darth Vader. Uh, right, so I've got Darth Vader. Uh, there's a um, $100 budget, marketing budget. And then my dare to be stupid is a fish hat. So then, so now I have to create a, a, a pitch based on Darth Vader, um, and like, this could be like a, a, a kiddie pool full of oatmeal, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and you're saying, okay, I gotta figure out how to, how to incorporate that into my marketing with my business. Right, in the realm healthcare. of healthcare, in the healthcare industry. So, okay, so let's try it, okay. right? So why don't we, why don't we give each other okay. something? Uh, of each of these things, okay, and then let's write them down, and then we'll we'll have a, a, a minute each, okay, to to pitch it because we have three minutes left. Okay, you are getting a, a giant stuffed rat. That's my spokesperson yep. and business partner. Yep. Okay. It doesn't move. Okay. <laughs> 
That seems like more something that's in the Dare to be Stupid file. Fine. Okay, we're flipping it. <laughs> so, in my Dare to be Stupid is a stuffed rabbit. Okay, Mike Tyson is your business partner. Okay. Love it. And, um... Oh, and then what is our marketing budget? What are my things? Okay. So, your business partner spokesperson is... Dame Judy Dench. Yes. Uh, and... Your Dare to be Stupid card is um, a uh, uh, sweatpants full of lasagna. Mm. Uh, finally, right? Yes. Okay, we draw the marketing budget. And it is? $1,000. Okay. There, there. So we'll just reuse this card. Yep. No, okay. It was meant to be. So we've got, we have a minute, we have a minute and 40, so I think we can, why don't we kind of finish and see if there's any other pieces that are involved in the game, and then we'll, we'll take a break, we'll get a minute to develop it, and we'll come back and pitch to each other, because at that point we're past the developing of the game, and we're just playing. Okay. All right. Later. Okay, so we have a minute left to decide. Is there are there any other pieces we need? The one aspect that could be fun is when you are Al, when yeah. you're the judge. Uh, so this is at least three players, right? Whenever you are Al, what do you get? Do you get the hair and mustache? Hair and mustache. Yeah. Glasses. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mustache. Does he wear glasses? All the time? Sometimes. Sometimes. Maybe, not, maybe not so much anymore. So we'll say... There's the Hawaiian shirt too. I mean, or just the hair and mustache. With hair and mustache. Wow, hair is really... There we go. Uh, so it could be, could be fun to have like a switcheroo ski where, okay. where you have to suddenly switch your, your dare card one to the left. Or, I don't know. Mm. It's already happening so quickly. Right, then whatever you get. Yeah. Um, maybe there's one of these that is like. Or is this something? This could be determined last, also, right? So you oh, get all these things yes, first. Yes, yes, yes. And then you have no idea, and then. And then it's gonna be a TV show. Oh, fun! Yeah, so this is the last thing to go. Yeah. And there's our time. All right. And after this, we'll be presenting to you. And we're back. All right. Uh, we gave ourselves two minutes to create our businesses using a, a card from the business person's partner spokesperson's. Come on now. And a card from Dare to Be Stupid, uh -huh. which is just random, ridiculous stuff. Our marketing budget, a thousand dollars. And we're gonna pitch to you. Yeah. You would be the player wearing the wig and mustache. Yeah. To decide how to spend Alice millions. That's right. Okay. You wanna go first? Sure. Okay. All right. So my business partner, Dame Judy Ditch. Classic. And I have teamed up to bring awareness to healthcare and universal healthcare at that. So we have mm. a nonprofit organization okay. and we are going to drive people to go sign up for free healthcare, okay? Uh, the way that we're gonna do this <laughs> is the, Jane, the Dame Judy Ditch, Ditch and Clench, where you have to put on your sweatpants full of lasagna mm -hmm. and sit, carry them over uh, a half mile mm -hmm. and whoever unloads the most lasagna into a bowl at the end of a half mile from their sweatpants full of lasagna wins a thousand dollars. The whole thing is going to be televised uh, for free, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. We'll shoot. You could, you could, you could live stream it. We're going to shoot the whole thing live. Yeah. Uh, and the winner gets a thousand dollars, but it's all to raise awareness for, to sign, sign people up for healthcare, doing the, the Dame Judy Dench and Clench. The Dench and Clench. Carrying your sweatpants full of lasagna <laughs> a half mile. Wow. I feel like that's a little more fleshed out than mine, uh, but I'm still pretty good. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm still proud of this, and Al will decide. So, uh, mine is called, um, well, uh, this is a service. This is not a non, this is a for-profit company. It's a service for uh, women 
in labor who are going through uh, extremely long labors okay. and they're just stuck in that room and it's like maybe in between the pushing, in between the painful parts and you're just kind of stuck there, right? Mm. What do you want? What do you need? Entertainment. Mm. And what kind of entertainment do you want? Ventriloquists. So me and my buddy Mike Tyson uh, have created a company called Dummies for Mummies. <laughs> Where, just like Uber, you hop on your phone, you look at the different uh, available ventriloquists in your area, uh, you say, oh, awesome, I want, uh, you know, Mikey and the Rat. Mm -hmm. So you Mike. click Mikey and the Rat, that happens to be Mike Tyson and his rat, Perfect. Um, his rat Punchy. And uh, they show up and he does, he does his little routine. Oh, it, I know, I gotta be careful. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not gonna mess with Mike Tyson. Um, <laughs> it's cute. It just, he does his routine, uh, you know, he's really, people know this, this not, not, only can, this rat punchy. <laughs> not only can he throw punches, he can throw his voice, and he's damn good at it. So, uh, that thousand dollars will be spent on a commercial uh, for Dummies for Mummies that we can then um, spread all across the internet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's more fleshed out than you made it sound. Thank you. Dummies for Mummies, to be... Dare to be stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Tyson and Punchy showing up. So yep. there you go. Is it Dummies for Mummies or is it the Dentu <laughs> <laughs> Uh Clearly, uh, there's a lot of rhymes involved in yeah, this game. As there should be. So you would be wearing the wig, the mustache, you get to decide uh, who wins. Please uh, vote for the winner in the comments, and yep. if it's already in there, just give it a thumbs up. Is that, is that how that works? Yes. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Well, the, the, and then the, the comments, comments themselves you can put out. Oh, so yeah, there we go. So do it both. Write a comment, so one, like one a person, comment. One person be first to put Dench and Clench, or Dummies for Mummies. Yeah. And then everybody else. Mikey, Mike and Clench. accordingly. Uh, what, would, what is the um, scoring mechanism, real quick, before we go? Or is it, do you get little tokens of something? Is there something? Oh man! Very, what, very if it, what if it? What if it was like a? Oh man, that'd be so cool if you could like add to the outfit somehow. And like, but then that would switch around. Oh right! Oh everyone, as you win, you get a mustache, and then you you win again, you get a wig. That made it pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. But I like that. I mean, we're not really making this game, so we got thousand dollars. So that's how you. So when you, oh, but then you're not switching it around. No. Uh, right. You don't need to. That's actually really fun. If the further you go, the more that you've won, the more like Weird Al you look. So you've got a mustache, Yeah. you've got the hair, you've got glasses, and then the final piece is like a little paper accordion. And everybody looks a little like Weird Al. At, yeah, as, as you win. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. And I think we could also add something where like there's a, a two dare round. Mm. Like a double dare, a double dare, double dare. where you add a, a second dare to suit cards and get your stuff wrapped and your sweatpants full of lasagna. Perfect. To coordinate into your campaign. Yeah. It's a pretty good game! It's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game! Good work. Oh, hold on, that was, that was, that was messy. There it is! Get it in there!